how to connect these two parts together. In the left we have 16 polygons and in the right we have just 6 polygons. In this video we are going to talk about this and let's see how. Recently I was working on this wrench and I made the right side and the left side. Now I need to connect these two parts together. But as you can see we have a dense polygons here and less polygons here. Well how we can connect these two parts together. The first thing I tried is using bridge edge loops right so i'm going to do that right now so before that i want to make an equal space between these vertices so i'm going to use the loop tools which is an add-on inside blender you need to turn this on into edit preferences and add-on so here you need to search for a loop tools and turn this on right so I'm going to select these vertices, right click and space. So now we have an equal space between these vertices. Also, we're going to do the same thing here, right click and space. Next, I'm going to select these edges and I'm going to extrude this like so. Or maybe we can uh, reduce the size to Z axis like this. Now I'm going to select these edges and then these. All right, and then I'm going to go to edge and bridge edge loops. Well, this is the result. Um, we can say this is a wrong result, but I believe we can do this better. If you search for edge flow control, you can find a lot of information through internet about how to control your topology using diamond shape uh, polys, or really there are a lot of information here. And there is a website called topologyguides.com. And here you will find a lot of useful tips about controlling your topology. I suggest you read these articles. These are very useful stuff. And here we have an article about optimal edge loop reduction flows. So here we have patterns to controlling your edge flow and you can reduce your flow from 4 to 1, 4 to 2, which we are going to use this in our range. So let's go back to our range. I'm going to taking care of this upper part, this top half of the model, and I'm going to connect these four polys to these two and then these four polygons to this one. All right. So let's do this. This is a pattern for 422 and I'm going to select these edges E for extrude and I'm going to use the knife by pressing K and do some edges like this. Right click, hit enter and then I'm going to dissolve these edges like so and then select these two edges and press F to connect and these two edges and press F to connect. All right, let's do some adjustment like this. And here we go. Now, as you can see, we have all quads. This is all quads faces. All right, let's connect these four into this one. So let's go for four to one. All right, let's select these edges, extrude like so using knife tool and make some edges like this. All right. And then I'm going to delete these edges, dissolve, and then select these two and press F to connect. Also, we need to connect these together. So pressing M and add center and doing some adjustment for these vertices like so. And as you can see, we just connect these polys together very easily. We have a end gun here, which is this one, but it really doesn't make any problem for you because this is a flat surface. This end guns won't make you any problem. So don't worry about this. Now for the top part, I'm going to extrude this. So selecting this E for extrude, holding control to a snap here and doing an edge loop here click dragging this loop and holding control and a snap here 
and then press 1, A for selecting all, and M by distance to match uh, some of these together. So it seems we just solved the problem. All right, now let's try the subdivision surface. Well, as you can see, we have some changing of our polygon flow here. I'm not sure if you can see this. Well, so let's change the shading. As you can see, here we have a perfect edge flow. But as we go through here, we have some going down smoothing for these polygons. So that's because we just changing this flow like so. As you are holding Alt and click here, as you can see, we have an edge flow like this. This is the reason if you use the subdivision surface, your flow goes like this. To fix this, we need to add a supporting edge into this corner. To do that, I'm going to connect these two together. So pressing one for vertex mode and select these vertices and pressing J to connect them together. Dissolve this one. And then if I use the subdivision surface, as you can see, we have a better flow here. Also, we have a little small changing of the um, flow as you can. I'm not sure if you can see this, but here uh, we have a small changing of the flow here. That's because we have an end gun here. So this is an end gun and that's why we have some changing of the flow here. So we can just deleting this and um, doing some adjustment here. But also we can use another pattern, which is three to one. All right. So let's try this out. I'm going to go back to our default shading. All right. Let's deleting these um, polys. Let's delete these faces and also this one. So here is three to one. All right. So I'm going to select these, extrude here. And I'm going to use the knife tool and do something like this. All right. Hit enter. And I'm going to delete these edges and connect these two together like so. And after that, we need to connect these two. M and at last. And also this one. M and at last. Also this vertex. We don't need that. So dissolve this too. So now we just made a supporting edge here, which is um, protecting our edge flow for this corner. And also we just use the three to one pattern, which is this one. Also we have a four to one, which is this one. So if I use a subdivision surface to my edge, as you can see, we have a flawless uh, flow through here and there is no problem all right and for this flat surface as i said before you don't need to worry about this hang on which doesn't cause any problem let's go for this um shading and i'm going to use this for the flat um shade flat sh uh, shade smooth there is no problem let's try something different i'm going to use knife tool and i'm going <laughs> A lot of angons and triangles here and as you can see we have no problem obviously you are not going to leave your topology like this but i'm just showing you that if you have a flat surface you don't need to worry about triangles angons and like so because this is a flat surface and it doesn't cause any problem for your shading right so let's go back and okay this is an angon five edges and don't worry about this we can use the mirror modifier to actually uh, mirror this, but let's do this again. So let's go to our default shading. Well, let's do this again for the bottom part. Before that, I'm going to uh, change this to shade flat. All right. And I'm going to connect these edges together. 
like this double G and I'm going to use this as a supporting edge for that all right next I'm going to connect these four polygons to this one and then these three to this one all right so let's select these and e4 extrude and go closer i'm going to use the knife tool to edges like this hit enter and then i'm going to uh, delete these edges dissolve and connect these two together like so next i'm going to connect these two m and at center let's put this here next i'm going to select these edges extrude using knife tool and adding some edges like this and deleting these edges next i'm going to select these two and press f to connect them together also i need to join this to and at center also we need to add an edge loop all right and connect these two together all right and also selecting these e for extrude and holding control to snap here and edge loop here holding control and one a m and by distance to um remove some overlapping vertices so if i using the subdivision surface you can see we have a flawless edge flow here all right and we can just do some adjustment here and also we can select these s x and zero to make them a little organized shift r shift r like so selecting double g putting here s z and also double g here also we can use the loop tools actually these right click loop tools and space to make an even spacing between them this is how you can connect these dense polygons to these light polygons with these patterns this is not the only way you can do this but this is one way you can do this properly if you enjoyed this video we have another tutorial about 10 beginner tips so don't forget to check that one too i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i will see you in the next one